Welcome everyone back to the Crimson 15 podcast. I'm your host, Crimson 10. And 15 PCA. Need to 454. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at C15 Podcast. Uh, going back to DC movies, and anyone who knows that Nicolas Cage is kind of like a joke, but back in the day, he was like a serious like actor. Like, if yeah. Cage is in a movie, oh, that's going to be cool. Yeah. And Nicolas Cage has a unhealthy <laughs> obsession with Superman. Like, yeah. he loves Superman. He even like named his son Kal El, but he, he totally changed his name now. But like yeah. when he was born, his name was Kal El. Crazy. Yeah. When it comes to obsessions, first it's Elvis, then second is yeah. <laughs> Superman. <laughs> he's kind of he's kind of a weird guy. And he there was even um, a movie. It was uh, who was the director who was going to direct the crap. Oh yeah, you do about the Tim Burton. Tim Burton was going to yes. do a Superman. Superman movie, and it was weird. And I would have been amazing just to see just from the spectacle of it. There's some. Little footage, like test screening type mm-hmm. footage in this costume. So you can see Nick Cage in the actual Superman costume. He's too scrawny. He's yeah, just too scrawny to do it. So we were even bringing this all up because Nick Cage finally gets to be Superman. So out of all these years, but it's in the most ridiculous way possible. He's going to be Superman in the Teen Titan Go movie. He finally gets to do he it. He finally that. gets to do it though. So, But here's the thing though. Teen Titans Go, I like it. It's funny because it makes fun of the fans. Yeah. It's funny because people hate it and they just roll with it. So this is like another... Joke, like it's another like ha in your face. Mm-hmm. Like we'll get Nick Cage to do it. That's yeah, what makes exactly. it great. I love Teen Titans Go. Even the mistakes that they didn't do, DC will end up yeah. being in their movies. They still throw it in their, their faces. Shows. I love it. Again, uh, we did a reaction video to the trailer, and it was funny. It was oh, really, oh, funny. Yeah, really, it was really funny. What I'm what I'm hoping for is that this Superman shows up. They should have a scene where he has a mustache for like two seconds. Yeah, they they got to make fun of all that crap. Yeah, exactly. And um, it's just so funny that Nick Cage. I probably when they called him, he probably said yes. Before they finish the sentence, because it's just well, now he's part of the DC. Yeah, I don't universe. think he even have to get a second yeah. when they asked him. Yeah. He did it. I definitely want to hear the voice. Like, well, is he going to do a voice? Is he going to just you know do his normal yeah. voice like where he's talking? That'd be and great. again, Teen Titans Go! It's the most hated cartoon in the world, apparently, but everyone gets tons of ratings and oh, kids yeah, love it. So. I mean, people I, love to hate it. I, but it I don't is. know why they do. It's actually funny. Every time I see it and I haven't watched, I only watched through the episodes, I laugh. They're yeah. funny. I don't the, know yeah, what the problem is. They're way Did, funny. Again, the, the poop and fart jokes are kind of lame sometimes, but you know what they do? When they make fun of the fans, make fun of the comics, make fun of just the idea of being a nerd and everything, yeah, it is pretty silly. Yeah. You know, collecting tons of things and all this kind of stuff. Yeah, it's kind of, yeah, it is. We got to admit to ourselves, sometimes we get a little too attached to our not things that aren't real. Exactly. And the Teen Titans go, they, they poke and they jab and they make fun of themselves. They make they even make episodes making fun of the production. Oh, making yeah. Making fun of the characters and the animation and, oh, we got to go cheap on the animation <laughs> this time. So I'm glad for Nick Cage. I'm glad he got to be yeah. Superman. Yeah, he gets to live out a little bit of his dream. And if you want a little bit more about Nick Cage uh, and the whole thing that went down, Superman, watch this documentary called Superman Lives that came out in 2015. Yeah, and they, they really show, good. you get to see some of the stuff about it. Uh, they were like, his suit was like silver and yeah. weird. It was it like lit up. Yeah. I remember yeah. seeing one of those like test ones. I'm like, oh, yeah. that's awful. And the side note, and the side note I thought was interesting is the fact Kevin Smith originally wrote it, but Tim Byrne didn't like it, and so he got a new writer. Mm-hmm. So there's kind of a rip between him there's and There's a Tim beef Byrne. between Tim Tim Burton, Burton and Kevin, Kevin Smith, Smith that yeah. has never been talked about, but they literally they were in a room together. That yeah, someone's not walking out alive. That's how much they freaking they all, hate they each, can't other. Stand each yeah. other. They can't stand Which each other. Which is weird because I don't know what those it's two so strange into about each other. Yeah. But. but also on a side note, you heard Kevin Smith talk about. I guess the the last writer wanted to put a spider in this movie. But since the movie never happened, never happened, and this person ended up directing Wild Wild West, and that's where the spider the came big, in. The big, the big mechanical yeah, spider. spider. That's all he, he got a spider. He can say that in this movie, which is weird because like that that was so out of place when you saw it in Wild Wild West. You're just like, okay, there's a huge. It was spider. a steampunk yeah. giant spider. And I'm not trying to get off topic, but I'm just saying yeah. these are the things that are going to be in the and, movie. Um, apparently, I want to say in that movie, Brainiac was supposed to be the main villain. Yes, he was. And then like, cause cause then the they have like sketches of the actual uh, movie, and they would have like Brainiac and that yeah. big spider in the back. Crown. It was like really fantastic. Again, I, Tim Burton does good with Batman because you know he can make Gotham kind of surreal. I don't know. Do we really want to see a Superman world like that? No. Uh, we'll see again. The ones in Teen Titans go, they can do anything. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. funny. I'm talking about yeah. the movie, yeah. the, the live action version. Yeah. Teen Titans go, they haven't made a mistake yet with it. I think the series has been. Yeah, they have on a couple part. of flat episodes, but for the most part, they're all super funny. And hopefully the movie just keeps the same kind of comedy. And yeah. by casting Nick Cage as Superman, you can tell they're in touch with their own comedy they're in touch with the fact that it was a failed experiment with that yeah. and they're gonna just take it and run with it i can imagine self-aware do yeah it's gonna be so funny like i like the episode two of teen times when 
when they had the talent show was so funny with Robin. Yeah, and he keeps changing his he's, story. He's, like, he's on doing it for pity points, and then he acts like he's British. I'm gonna do this. How are you doing? And we know it's you, Robin. And I love how because Batman's on the thing. He's like, "Come on, man, you got it." He tries to bribe Batman. He's freaking rich. Again. You think no, nope, man? Not gonna work. <laughs> Okay, so doesn't have Batman on his side. Yeah, <laughs> he's even exactly. low for him. Yeah, he's like almost ashamed. He's like, oh my gosh, yeah. I can't believe he's doing this. Like, that was too funny. It, sh- it should be fun though. Definitely, I want to see hear his voice and see how he portrays oh, it. Oh, we'll probably be go great. see this in the theaters. Yeah, it's gonna be yeah, fun. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Crimson Sin here. Thanks for watching and be sure to like, sub, and share. Also, for the most up-to-date information about the podcast, follow us on Twitter at C15Podcast. 